So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a dismemberment effect inside of Unreal Engine 5 without actually importing your character inside of a 3D modeling software such as Blender and making your character have different separate parts in order to achieve that dismemberment. So it's very simple, very easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be going over to my event graph. Now I have a reference to the one key. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to type in hide bone. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a reference to this hide bone right here. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, that it has a reference to my mesh. So I'm just going to connect this up. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that I need a specific bone name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to my character's mesh. I'm going to click on my character's skeleton. And then inside of my character's skeleton, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over here. And I'm just going to click on a random bone. So let's just go ahead and we're going to go with this little left arm right here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy this bone name. And then I'm going to go over here. And then I want to make sure that my bone name is the exact same. That is why I copy that bone name. And once I do that, if I go ahead and I compile and I sit there and I go into the engine right here and we play the game. If I turn my character around and I press the one key, you'll notice that now that my character's arm is actually hidden which allows us to sit there and create a somewhat dismemberment effect inside of the game now you could go a little bit step further and then add in particle effects to make it look like you have blood coming off your character or like there's some type of core gore to show that your character has like their arm hidden now if you want to just go ahead and unhide the bones if you technically want to do that in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go over here and i'm just going to type in key two and then I'm just going to get a reference to my two action key. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in hidden bone. And I'm basically going to type in unhide bone. So this is how you unhide the bone if you want to do that. So I'm just going to connect this up. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to paste my bone name that I have set up right here. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into the game. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to play. And then I'm going to turn my character around. I'm going to press 1. And then if I press 2 again, I actually get my arm back. So that is how you make a very simple, easy dismemberment effect inside of your game. I can show you an effect of how I have it set up in my hack and slice game, Grim Hope, where I have particle effects. So it looks really, really good. Now, this is a lot easier of you actually going inside of Blender and trying to sit there and make every separate part of your character have like a separate arm or separate bone structure for the leg. So this is super simple, super easy. If you guys found this tutorial to be very helpful, helpful let me know down below in the comment section make sure you guys like the video also if you guys want to see more game development tutorials and unreal end of five let me know down below in the comment section what specific tutorial you guys want to see as well and i'm gonna see you guys on my next one